Hi, today we're going to make the mushroom fairy house to go in your fairy garden. Let's take a look at what's in your kit. You have your unpainted fairy house, a large cup of number 92 paint, and small cups of number 83 and number 15 paint. You have your brush, and you have a sponge triangle. What you'll need to get is a cup of water and a small bowl or cup to mix up your watered down paint. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is paint the inside of our fairy house. To do that, we're gonna water down some glaze. So take the number 92 and pour just about a tablespoon of it into your bowl. Save the rest, we're gonna use it later. Then add about two tablespoons of water and mix it up well. We want it to be about the consistency of skim milk. Next, we'll take our fairy house and our paint and go over by the sink. Okay, here we are by the sink. The reason that we're gonna be over here is that we'll need to pour the excess out of the inside after we pour the paint in. There's a hole in the top of your fairy gnome. I want you to put your finger over the top of that and hold, you might need to get a grown-up to help with this, but hold the mushroom with that covered up and with the hole at the top and pour your wa mixed water and paint mixture into the fairy house. And then roll it around until the inside is all coated. Once you have it all coated, pour the leftover into the sink. Make sure to get all of it out. Don't worry if you get some on the outside, I'm gonna show you how to clean that up. Once you have the inside coated with the watered down glaze, take a sponge and dip it in the water. Wring out the excess, and you can wipe off any drips that you got on the outside. Our paints are not permanent until after they've been fired, so it's easy to clean up. Just keep rinsing your sponge and wringing it out and wiping until all the excess is off. The next step, we're going to paint on some dark brown that'll bring out the texture of our mushroom. To do that, we're gonna do that same technique of watering down glaze. So take your number 15 and pour in, again, about a tablespoon. and then add about two tablespoons of water. If you pour in a little too much, you can remove a little bit of the water. Again, we're looking for the consistency of skim milk. Make sure to mix it well because the glaze settles to the bottom pretty quickly. We have it mixed up really well. We want to paint all of this area of the mushroom. Let it flow on. It's okay if it's drippy. Again, you can clean it up later. And we're going to wipe a lot of it off with a sponge anyway. The mushroom over so you can do the underside.
Once you have the brown all over, set it aside to dry for a few minutes. Once the shine is gone, we're ready to go to the next step. Once your watered down paint is dry, get your clean water back and your sponge. And we're gonna start wiping away some of the color. Very gently wipe, leaving the color in the crevices. If you take off too much, add a little bit more paint back on and then wipe again. And again, keep rinsing out your sponge and squeezing it out. You want a damp sponge and light pressure. Once you have the mushroom stem all wiped down, then you wanna clean up the top. Just remove any of that excess drip that's on the top. And if there's still a little bit of brown there, as long as it's really light, it'll be just fine because we're gonna paint over the top. Next, get some fresh water and clean your brush, and we're gonna move on to painting the top of the mushroom. We're gonna paint that with three solid coats of number 92. So if you've ever painted with us before, you know that we recommend three solid coats when you want solid coverage like this. So what that means, keep your paintbrush good and juicy, and paint with the brush strokes all going the same direction. Because I have a rounded shape, I'm just gonna go around my mushroom and paint down. If I paint down like this, then I can get a pretty clean edge down here without having to worry about trying to paint a straight line. Once you go all the way around, let that coat dry for a few minutes until the shine is gone. Paint two more coats the same way to get solid coverage. Once your second and third coats dry, the next thing we'll do is add our polka dots. So we're gonna take our number 83 paint and we're gonna use our fingers. <clears throat> when we wanna add fingerprints, we don't wanna get big globs, so we wanna dip it in the paint and dab it off a little bit and then add a dot. So dip, dab, dot. And then continue doing that until you have as many polka dots as you want. Once you're done with all your polka dots, let your paint dry for 24 hours and then carefully wrap up your piece and bring it back to Color Me Mine for glazing and firing.